as the high-profile incarceration of Sean Diddy Combs continues at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, tales from former inmates paint a vivid picture of what life is like for the hip-hop mogul inside the 4 North unit. But one former warden who worked at the facility says Combs' life could still be in danger there. And that former warden is Cameron Lindsay, and she joins me now. Cameron, great to have you here. Um, we just read it out loud. One lawyer for one inmate called it the MDC overcrowded and understaffed, hell on earth. Combs' own lawyers called it horrific. Why are conditions so bad there? Well, it's been a number of years since I've been in the Metropolitan Detention Center, but what I can tell you is New York City being the biggest, most populated city in America, uh, the MDC has a difficult time recruiting and retaining staff. So one of the key issues is the lack of staffing. And, and it would be unfair for me not to mention that the vast majority of MDC staff are hardworking, salt of the earth, well-trained people. I know many of them, they're fantastic people. Unfortunately, however, there has been a, a, a disproportionate element of corruption within the ranks of, of MDC. Mm. I think that it has to do with a number of, uh, of factors to include uh, the inability to, to hold on to Reserved the really good staff. Yeah. detainees and those requiring added security. The Four North Dormitory houses about 20 inmates, offering looser regulations and small privileges not afforded to those in the general population. One unique feature of the facility has even led some to jokingly dub it Freak Off Friendly. This moniker alludes to the infamous freak-off parties that Diddy allegedly hosted, events that prosecutors say involved sex workers and scandalous entertainment for him and his inner circle. The dorm unit itself offers an unusual design feature, as Jean Borello, a former mob enforcer who served time there, told reporters, a grate with small holes allows men to communicate and even view women in the unit one floor down. If you lay down, you can look through the holes and talk to the women, he said. Inmates allege that some women aren't shy about providing glimpses to the men above. However, Borello cautioned that these women are far from the glamorous companions rumored to have attended Diddy's past freak-offs, noting most of them are drug addicts. Though he may be in a more relaxed part of the facility, life for Diddy is a far cry from the lavish lifestyle he enjoyed before his arrest. Gone are the days of private jets, Michelin star chefs, and expansive luxury suites. Instead, he sleeps on a hard steel bed in close quarters without a pillow, and meals are standard jail fare, hot dogs, chicken sandwiches, and thinly sliced patties known as murder burgers. Unlike the isolated cells found elsewhere, the 4 North unit has a dorm setup, giving its high-profile inmates access to a few creature comforts like board games, air hockey, and even limited-use tablets. They can watch movies, play video games, and listen to music," said Tiffany Fong, a reporter and close contact of another well-known inmate, Sam Bankman-Fried, who also resides in the 4 North unit. Look, I don't think that the worst things that are said are true, but like, you don't get in this situation that we got in if you like are uh, if you make all the right decisions. Like, if uh, you know, like I hadn't. If I'd been more careful, I there's a billion things I could have done. There was something about a backdoor that allowed you to execute commands that could alter the company's financial records without alerting others. That this was put in place. I think that was a Reuters article, which made it seem like you secretly were moving money in the background. Wait, and this is something that I would be doing. It kind of said that SBF put like a secret backdoor so that he was moving funds to Alameda and it was undetected. Like this was something that you put into place potentially? I mean, that's how it, it read. Well, that's interesting. So that I can tell you definitely. Interestingly, Bankman Freed, who once shared an elevator ride with Diddy, commented that the hip hop star was a nice guy and had a reputation for being generally kind to those around him, despite his high status. The reality check of life at MDC, however, seems to have been jarring for Diddy. While inmates in the 4 North unit are safer from violent incidents that plague other parts of the jail, they must still contend with cramped beds, minimal privacy, and early wake-up calls. 
Fong notes that bathrooms are separated only by a thin curtain, and inmates share close quarters at night, with lights controlled by a rigid schedule. With limited access to commissary items, even simple luxuries like lotion are in short supply. A fact of some note, given that over a thousand bottles of baby oil were reportedly seized from Diddy's residence as part of the investigation. The absence of even small personal effects adds another layer to the frustration for Diddy, who must ration his 300 minutes of monthly phone time to keep in touch with his legal team. As he faces charges of racketeering and sex trafficking, Diddy has maintained his innocence, yet remains in custody due to a judge's refusal of multiple bail offers. His legal battle is likely to be a long one, meaning the 4 North unit may be his home for some time. While the environment may seem far from luxurious, it represents a break from the more dangerous general population, which some say is a fortunate trade-off. Despite the quieter setup of the dorm unit, however, life in MDC can wear on any inmate. Bankman Freed reportedly described the facility as generally depressing, with a design that is not meant to make you reform, but to break you. About you and Diddy, some guy named Loose Cannon told this story about you all. I don't know that man. I've met him before. I wish him well, though. What's your message to those who are talking about Get it and the actually group. think? What's your message to them? Loose Get cannon. Life. In the coming months, the stark contrast between Diddy's current circumstances and his once extravagant lifestyle may prove to be one of the greatest challenges for the star yet.